Hey yo, Amy Blue Sky here. In this video, we're going to delve deeply into the Minecraft launcher for the PC Java edition. Its features, how to use it to manage a game, and how to create multiple Minecraft games using profiles. One of the great things about Minecraft is its versatility, and how your account, the game launcher, and your profiles work together is a big part of this versatility. Let's start with your Mojang account, because that's where it all starts. When you purchase the game, to download and install it, you have to create an account on the Mojang servers. This account is your Minecraft identity, and this identity is carried with you wherever you log in to the game, whether it's on your personal computer, on a laptop at someone else's house, on a console, in a single player world, or on a multiplayer server. This is an important feature because it's closely tied in to how you use the Minecraft launcher. The launcher is the program that allows you to connect to the Mojang servers and download the game files. I've been using the Minecraft launcher since I started playing just simply to play the game, and then I learned how to use it to create profiles, but it includes some more functionality that I hadn't really paid much attention to. As I talked about in an earlier video, it allows you to play older versions of the game, as well as versions in development, snapshots, and modded versions. And I think some of the confusion that myself and others have sometimes felt when trying to use a launcher to create multiple game instances and profiles comes from not understanding that they are basically two different but closely related programs that we're using. The launcher is a separate program written in C++. It's like a controller, a manager, or a wrapper for the game. And if you're familiar with modding other games, then the launcher is like a basic mod manager. It allows you to control the game and it allows you to mod, mod it, modify it, use mods. Minecraft itself is another program or a set of programs written in Java. When you open the launcher, it automatically attempts to connect with your login account no matter what machine you're on. The game is set up to work best when you're logged in with one identity on one machine at a time. However, you can purchase and create multiple login identities on Minecraft.net. For example, some Minecraft YouTubers have a camera account they use to film themselves and others in game. This way you can play with multiple characters at the same time in the same world as long as you log in from different machines or one is local and the other is logged in via a server or a LAN local area network. Like Zuma explained in another video, you could have one character doing AFK farming for you while you're building or playing with the other in the same world or in different worlds. I tested a number of scenarios just to see what the game would do with your accounts. If you try to log in with the same account on the same world on the same machine, the game will crash and it won't allow you to use the same account to log into multiple worlds on a single machine or on servers, which is definitely a good security anti-cheat feature. If you try to log in with different accounts in the same game version on the same machine, it will give you a warning that you should make a different profile with a save in a different location. This could come in handy if you're working on a project in creative and you're rebuilding it in survival and you want to do it at the same time and refer back and forth because it's saved in a different location and the other account either on a separate local world or on a server. If you're doing this locally, you can use the same seed so that even though technically your accounts are in separate worlds, the world is basically the same. You can log in with different accounts using different versions of the game and thus different worlds on the same machine, no problem and no errors. Again, the launcher allows us to do this by storing our account identities, emails, logins and passwords on the Mojang servers, not on our individual machines. Locally, the launcher remembers your settings from world to world on the machine where it's installed and it remembers which version and which world you were playing last. When you launch the launcher and you're connected to the internet, it automatically logs you into your designated Minecraft account. When you log in online, any updates will be installed automatically, which doesn't change any of your saves or profile information, so don't worry about that. You can allow Mojang to monitor your game's performance while you're logged in. You can opt in or out of sending them information about your game and creating log files, but allowing this can be helpful for reporting problems and getting help if, you're, if you have problems with your game. Another cool feature of the Mojang account is that it stores your character's skin, and when you're playing in online mode, you can use a launcher to change your character's skin without having to log into your account again on the Mojang website. Website. A great place to find templates for skins, pre-made ones, and make your own skins at needcoolshoes.com, which I'll put the link down below in the description. You can download the basic Minecraft template for the default skins directly from the launcher that you can then modify in a drawing or painting program like Photoshop. To change or add your skin in the launcher, click on the skins button, then click the browse button to navigate through your file system for your skin file. The file has to have a resolution of 64 by 64 pixels for the launcher to accept it, and it needs to be 
in a .png format. After you've found the skin file, click the Save button to change your in-game skin. The default skin is basically the framework that your custom skin lays over. You're allowed two layers over the basic model, one that's sticky and one that can be taken off and put on in pieces. If you change the skin while you're running the game, it won't show until you quit and restart the game. You can also play the game when you're not connected to the internet. The launcher displays that you're in offline mode. This simply means that you won't be getting any automatic updates and won't have access to your character's skin file stored on the server. When the game can't access this file, it won't load your custom skin. It will show the default Minecraft character skin from the model that you chose. They should change this so that you have the option to load your skin file saved on your machine if needed. I would really appreciate that. Let's take a look at profiles. When you open the launcher for the first time, it creates a profile that selects the latest version of Minecraft. It does this automatically and the profile cannot be removed. But you can also create game versions of your own by creating different profiles in the launcher. To do this, click the launch options button and click add new to create one. After this, name your profile whatever you want. If you don't, it will be named unnamed configuration automatically. So that's the simplest way to do it. However, if you want to have your Minecraft games, your instances or worlds installed on a different drive, you can use the launcher to direct the place to create the worlds based on that profile and the versions that you want to use. So for example, let's say you want to have all of your 1.12.2 worlds in a separate folder, not on your C drive. Like let's say, how about this drive or even a portable detached drive. Another way that profiles could be useful is let's say several of you play Minecraft on the same machine. You can switch back and forth between your accounts using the launcher as we looked at. The worlds that each of you created will be in the worlds list when you log in. The last world that was played in will show at the top of the list. However, you can use a naming convention that allows you to easily search through the worlds list to find the one that you're looking for. For example, here we can do a search for creative, survival, by person, or by keyword in the world name. Okay, I think that covers everything. I hope this video provides a clear understanding of how the Minecraft launcher and profiles work on the PC Java edition. Let me know if I missed anything or if, if something else was unclear or if I misunderstood something in the comments. And if you found it useful, please share. Let me know and give it a thumbs up. Ah, yes. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. May the wind be at your back and your days full of smiles. I can do anything. I can reach any goal today. I can do what I want. I can be what I want to be.